All right. Quartz. What up, what up? Welcome back. We are getting our Blaine Gym battles done. Ugh. Change screen. Good call. Good call. There we go. Official screen with all the updated card outs for sure. Sounds sick. My voice is feeling a little rough this morning. I will I will be honest. Feeling a little rough. Um Carry Bob's mud bot. Yep. Let's show off my Pokemon Master knowledge here. Nope. Nope. That's a good trick question right there for this game. All right, you are the first battle, me and Xiao, which we are going to lead with Drizzle Passimian. Um, We are going to immediately U-turn out. Uh, did I put Protect on you? It did. I'm going to protect turn one, probably. Actually, I think I'm just going to U-turn. If he fake outs, I don't even really care. Uh, fake outs not going to do too much damage. He'll take some life orb chip. Um, he might just U-turn out himself. He's most likely going to fake out, but if he sees I protect, he might not. So I'm just going to immediately uh, U-turn out with him. Make sure his sun's gone. And we have answers for everything. Um, we got the Flygon, who is here for both Arcanine and the... Um, on flora my dragon dance up enough it can be here for everything pretty much uh we have moltres for center scorch we got the bibberal the god bibberal on the team for the rhyperior so i'm excited for this I'm excited for this it'll be like slightly bleached it's just going just going gray it's going great buddy yeah. now my beard's always been like so multicolored man it's honestly always been so many different colors all right. Turn one. U-turn. He fake outs, of course. But it's fine. He takes some U-turn chip. Um, I also... I mean, my answer for this Mian Shao is also Moltres. It has close combat U-turn knockoff. And I'm using no item on Moltres. So it's not going to do any damage. Uh, we U-turn now. You're faster. You're knocked off. That's fine. Honestly. I honestly didn't expect you to stay in with this at all. But like, I just go Moltres. Knockoff's gonna do nothing. Close combat would be stupid for you to do. Um, I don't know if you're faster than me. Let's go for a dueling beat. You're faster. Okay, I'll get a free dueling bit on somebody. It's probably gonna be Arcanine. Right, period. Okay. Doesn't matter. Fine to me. Does not matter. We do that. We do have Technician on this Moltres, so uh, I'm going to go for the U-turn, get a little bit more chip. Uh, and we go into God, the Bibberal. <laughs> the Bibberal. He goes for a Stone Edge with my fur coat. Look at this. Oof. I did more than I thought it was going to. I'm not going to lie. A little more than I thought it would. Um, I should be faster, so I'm going to curse up. Get that plus one defense. That's for Stone Edge again. This can crit, which is a little scary. Luckily, it doesn't. The rain stops. Uh, at this point, I'm just gonna Aqua Jet. Get the chip off. Put him in. It's not gonna one shot right here. Landing the Stone Edges. Which is did they change Stone Edges accuracy? I don't believe so. He gets the crit, but it's fine. Uh, we stay in range. Uh, to live the aqua jet here we get rid of the rhyperior and this is the only thing this was only here for right here it's the only reason i brought this so rhyperior is done his hp doesn't matter um i'm cursed up which is cool and all but not really necessary should go sun flora here or set a scorch that works um should be a power whip we go into moltres i mean it could be a leech life too oh it would don't matter what it is it could be a knockoff um the center scorch has mountaineer as it's mega, which means it's immune to rock moves and stealth rocks, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. That did a lot more than I expected to. Dueling beat. Technician, no point in setting up. Just get our damage. Look at that. Sheesh, I didn't even calc this. What up, Balloon? How you doing? What up, Lycan? The rule has fur coat shorts. So strong. 
All right, so Santa, this was here for Santa, uh, Santa Scorch. Now that you're done, we're good. Um, this, my answer for the last two Pokemon is Crichton. So you go for Wild Charge here, you go for a Celerock. That could work too. I don't know why I didn't think Head Smasher or Celerock. That makes way more sense. Uh, Crichton cannot be critical hit. So I'm immediately Dragon Dancing. Um, Flare Blitz or Head Smash is what you go for. So how much you do, you can't crit me, so I can just always know how much damage you do. 255 to 172. Um, I just take the KO. There's Earthquake. Get rid of Arcanine. No chance you live this. No chance. I mean, I have to think about that. And then you go Mian Chao Fake Out, probably, if I had to guess. Yep. Um, I'm just going to dual wing beat. Okay, just in case he went straight for a close combat. I didn't want to risk. No point in risking. What up, Lake Show? How you doing, Like? And this is Radical Red. This is from my YouTube. Uh, we are still in Subathon, so I'm still recording YouTube. This is the third week. This is day 21 of the Subathon. Absolute insanity. Um, this dual wing beat. I went for dual wing beat on this uh, because I think it's like the strongest flying move he gets. And also this thing has focus sash. So... First battle down. Pretty according to plan. Pretty according to plan. Now, let's heal up the boys and start setting up the second team, which I kind of prepared ahead of time. I wanted Blastoise. Um, do I need Bibril? I need Bibril for anything. Could be a pretty good answer for some stuff. Uh, Moltres is a good answer for Darmanitan. Pretty good for the Glide score. Um, it's actually a good answer for the Charizard. Kind of my Charizard answer. Honestly. Um, well-baked body. Um, the well-baked body Samurott was kind of only here just in case. I needed it first. Anything with fire moves, Schwartz, but it did. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Had a couple extra minutes. No big deal. Off to bed. All right. Have a good night, man. All right. Let me uh, make sure I get this team correct for this. Gly score. I needed. Definitely needed Gly score here. Um, I think over Bibberl. Uh, it has fur coat, and there's not as many fire attackers in this gym. Um, he has a Glide score with Earthquake, Dual Wing Beat, Facade, Ursaluna with Flame Orb, Facade, Head, Long Rush, Close Combat, Knockoff. So I think Glide score is going to be better in this battle. Um, the Ice Beam, Ice Cold Crash, you turn. Are you, you're not, I need to change your natures. I'm going to have to get out of the gym. I have to go update some natures on these guys. Let's go. So. Blastoise, I want I don't need your speed. I want you to be plus defense. I got almost minus speed, because I want to have some slow flip turns going off. I don't think I'm worried about him outspeeding anything anyway. Uh you are plus defense, of course, and you are plus defense as well. We do have bull rush on him, which is gonna be really good. Let me rare candy him up. You as well. You now get Earthquake over Bulldoze. I think need to update these movesets on these guys. Alright, Bull Rush. You have Brick Break, Bulk Up, Pursuit, Rage Fist. Um, I want to set up Stealth Rocks in this game if possible. Where is Stealth Rock as a TM? I think it's lower down. It is Stealth Rocks. I can teach it to Trash Panda over Pursuit. And you over Defog? Or over Ice Fang? Uh, over Defog. Um, I'm going to bring Rapid Spin. On Blastoise. Over Fake Out? Or break out. We don't need break out. So let's see. 
I kind of want to lead. I'm going to lead uh, Trash Panda. No, ZZ. Give him U turn as well. U turn over. I don't really need an earthquake in this, honestly. Roost could be nice. Ice Fang's good against Ursaluna and Glide Score, so I can just run that over Earthquake. Um. Mm. I could give you leftovers in this game. Music got messed up. Got me a little nervous there. Got me a little nervous there. All right. All right, hold on. Um, I kind of kind of don't want to run leftovers on this guy. Because he has knockoff on Ursaluna. This guy could be good for Ursaluna. Could also be really good for the Darmanitan and Lycanroc. All right, what's my Charizard answer? I need a Charizard answer. Like, for sure, a Charizard answer. I want, oh, he has Fire Emblem Z. I've not seen Z moves using this. Oh, shoot. I didn't even think about that. Um, Ancient Power on you over uh, I'm Charge. Okay. And we need to make you plus special defense. Plus special defense. Minus... Minus defense. Because I'm going to use you strictly for the Charizard. So I think if I get you in and get an ancient power off on Charizard, we'll be good. Um, give you leftovers. Leftovers. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm actually going to lead with ZZ because I want to set up Stealth Rocks and then you turn out. That is it. I don't want to get too low HP so that he can endeavor. Um, ah, it's kind of tough though, actually. Kind of tough. It's going to be tough to get the rocks off. Rocks out of the game. Without, like, I need to make sure I can get the rocks away and kill the Lycan Rock. Because right now I only have flip turn on him. How much is the flip turn doing to a Lycan Rock? Lycan Rock, I am level 76. That means he'll be level 71. Um, uh, Blastoise. You can Mega Evolve him too. Well, 76 with Flip Turn. The 61 to 72. I get the plus one speed at a minus speed nature. Plus one speed without speed. Even on minus speed nature. Well, he'll be plus speed, right? He's gonna be like Jolly or whatever. Um,. So I'd have to be a... I can't be a minus speed nature on Blastoise. So I'm going to make him plus defense minus special attack. Hmm. I just run. How much is Scald just doing to him? Straight up. Scald kills. Scald kills. What do I not need? I don't really need Protect, I don't think. I don't need Dragon Tail. 
even um let's make him plus physical attack or i can make him plus defense minus special defense because you're here strictly for physical attackers you have all right let's check the check the move sets never seen a z move either uh because i never survived long enough to use it <laughs> For four days of streaming, I'm not worried about the timer at all, guys. I'm not worried about it at all, I promise. Uh, Stealth Rocks, Flip Turn, Rapid Spin, Protect, um, Dragon Dance, Dual Wing Beat. This move set is just always good. You're here for. You're, you could be here for the Charizard too, honestly. So I should give you a Rock move. Just give you Rock Slide, over. Or Dual Wing Beat this fight uh you have drain punch oh you don't have drain punch i want you to have drain punch sure where is it drain punch over brick break and you're a backup for Stealth Rocks in case I can't get him up with a fly score or something happens. Um, actually, I'm pretty confident I'm going to get... I'm pretty confident I'm going to get the Stealth Rocks up. Uh, I'll get rid of Stealth Rocks for Protect. Leftovers will be good. Alright, you're here for potential setting up rain if I need it. You're really not really that useful. You're here for Charizard. You're here for Ursaluna slash Lycanroc. You kind of take care of them both. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Don't need to overthink it too much. These battles aren't as bad. They're like, um, they're a lot lower leveled. They're like five or four levels low, uh, below me. So I should be okay regardless. Uh, just, play, just playing it safe. Being very careful. Sunlight is strong. Set up my own stealth rocks. You set up yours. The thing with this is he could switch out right here. Uh, but if he does, I get a free U-turn and I get information on the next Pokemon. He rock tombs. Okay, he's focused Ash, so it makes sense that he doesn't choose to switch out. So go for the U-turn. You get that chip. directly into trash panda and honestly after a rapid spin flip turn might just kill set up the snow especially with the snow chip the more i think about it the more i think this might just kill can mega evolve too let me uh what is mega black all right blastoise has i kept flip turn right yes blastoise is 83 attack Mega Blast always has 103 attack. Oh, I could 100%. I could 100%. Uh, I didn't put the Mega item on him. I hit Lies. I forgot. That's not how this works. All right. So he's going to immediately switch out. Um. Yeah, we get the speed on that. So I'm faster than this now. He's gonna get the toxic heal. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna flip turn. Huge damage. Huge damage. And I go into my own ZZ. The glide score on the earthquake does nothing. Um, what I could do here, because I do not think he stays in. I don't, under, he could click, he could just click facade. He could just click facade. I would love to just U-turn. Um, I'm just going to use Fang. He switches. He's probably going Darmanitan. Yeah, makes sense. Um, uh, wait, it's not Zen mode yet. There he goes. I was like, wait a minute. How does this work? <laughs> like, how does this work real quick? We got a randomized Fang off. It's going to do nothing. That's fine. Okay. Um, he's going to go for an Icicle Crash here. I'm going to go into 
Blastoise again. So Blastoise is here for. Blastoise is pretty much here for the Darmanitan. It was here to rapid spin and wall the Darmanitan. That's Life Orb, Icicle Crash. Snow has stopped. Um, I'm going to protect. Get an extra turn of leftovers. He should Earthquake. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm not worried about this, like, killing me. Did I just Scald? If he's, he's very fast than me, most likely. He should be fast than me. If I flip turn out, don't kill. How fast is our Zen Mode Darmanitan? Galarian Zen Mode. It's 135 speed. You are fast as heck. Holy. In your jolly nature. So that makes your speed 239. Do I have anything on my team that outspeeds you? Oh. Man. Um, if I'm neutral nature. Um, which regular blastoise, neutral nature, level 76. I get the plus one speed. I don't outspeed you. Yikes. Um. Oof. Scald kills though. Scald kills. No point in stressing it. Scald kills. Yikes. Yikes. All right, we tank that. Scald kills. There was no point in stressing all this. I was trying to set up a potential another rapid spin. Try and get greedy. You know. Just trying to get greedy. Are you gonna go Lycan Rock again? No, you got Ursa Luna. Um Don't I faster than Ursa Luna? So I'm just gonna flip turn. Ursa Luna is slow. Ursa Luna. Level 72. Yeah, I'm definitely faster than this. I just flip turn. Get the damage. Nice little chunk. Arsenal is a bulky, bulky boy. Uh, he's probably going for, if I had to guess, a knockoff. Which he'll get rid of my leftovers on this guy, which, you know, is what it is. It was a headlong rush. Perfect. Perfect. I have full HP. Knockoff or facade should be coming in. I'm gonna Ice Fang. I'm faster. I could always Roost. I'm not worried about my leftovers being knocked off. Yep. There we go. That did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um. Ice Fang. I think Facade will do more damage. So it's not even worth really trying to Roost on that turn. Okay. Perfect. Earth Luna's gone. Fly Score's gone. Right? Did he switch out the Glass Score? He did. The last card is still around. Um, I'm going to U-turn. He clicks Endeavor. That's fine. You have 127 HP at that point. Um, I'm going to go into Trash Panda. He does have a Cellar Rock, which I do got to be careful of. Um, I'm going to rapid spin. Okay. 69 HP. The rapid spin off. So now I'm faster than him. I just got to worry about whether or not I think. I'm going to protect. I think in a cellar rock. Is he other what he's going for? He's going for rock tomb. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Get as much HP as I can. As much HP as I can. And we flip turn out. Okay, give her to you. What does he have left? I think he just has Charizard left, alright? Go Rudy. Charizard. My ancient power on the air slash. You're gone. Snow stop. You have Glass score left. Um, you 
can't really do anything to me. I just dual wing beat. You're gone. Okay. Battle done. Next up is a double battle. I just went crazy. Hold on. Slow down. Okay. Double battle. This one I got to do a little bit of prep for. So like this. One thing I wanted to do is put Tailwind on my Moltres. Oh, all these guys get Tailwind. Wow. Uh, but no one that I really want to have leading. Uh, Tailwind over probably Ancient Power, right? Ancient Power for Volcarona could be good, but I have Dueling Beat. Okay, I believe I wanted to lead with Broody and Trash Panda. I want to put... I could run Icy Wind turn one. Icy Wind could actually be crazy. Over Flip Turn. Definitely want to run Ice Beam. Actually. How much is Ice? Noivern is fast, but... Noivern at level 71? How much you take it from an Icy Wind from a Blastoise? Level 76. And doubles. You take around half. Um, but if you're at minus one speed, you're at 134. I'll outspeed you with Blastoise. Well, you're going to be plus speed nature. You're naive. What is naive nature? It is plus speed. Uh, it'd be a speed tie unless I'm plus speed on you, which I can do. I can go timid on you. So I'll outspeed on the next turn, and I could literally Icy Wind again and just get a KO. Nidoking King will be slowed down. I could just run, I could click Scald on that. And I could click Scald on the other guys too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the play. Uh, I need to run you, I need to run you Timid. Icy Wind Scald. I do not need Rapid Spin. Um, What could I give you? Fake Out? I think I could be good later, I guess. If I need to. Not really necessary. Um, Ice Beam for the Hisuian Braviary, maybe? It's pretty good against that, too. Okay. You. I need to change your set around. Um, but these two are really, really good in this battle. Um, this is good for the Excadrill. Kind of a, it's not great against Volcarona because of Fluffy. You remember that? Um, this is a great answer for Volcarona, but I can't have him on the field at the same time as Excadrill. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not too worried about the Noivern, honestly. I see win turn one. And I tailwind up with you. I could tailwind up with more than one Pokemon, but it's the only one that's not just gonna get like one shot by this guy. Um What can I run for Nidoking King on you? It's gonna do it enough to a Nidoking. King. Nidoking, King level seventy-two, timid. Not really worried about its nature. Uh, Moltres, level seventy-six. Um, dual wing beat with the ability technician. The sixty to seventy percent. I actually might be able to kill after. Blastoise, Icy Wind. Oh, it definitely could kill. I could go for two Icy Winds, because two Icy Winds will kill Noivern. All right, um, I'm just going to make Moltres adamant. Okay, so that should be the first turn. I'm going to, I'm going to, blah, blah, blah. 
they lead with Noivern, Nidoking. King. Noivern has Tailwind, which I'm almost guaranteed he's going to click. If he doesn't click it, it makes life a lot easier. I Tailwind with Rudy. And Dual Wing Beat. No, I Tailwind with you, and I Icy Wind with you. Um, I need to make you Timid. Uh, that gives us turn one Nidoking King. Can't kill either Rudy or Trash Panda. He can't burn us or poison us. He has no, he's sheer force, so none of it's going to matter. Um, so we get the speed advantage turn one guaranteed. If he stays in, I Icy Wind a second time, which kills Noivern, does like 50% Nidoking. King. I dual wing beat the Nidoking, King, it dies. If he switches anything out and Icy Wind is going to slow them down and I'll still be in great shape. Um, I also think this is going to be a super easy battle. I really do. Um, I should bring something else, though. Or... Mm. Just like a good Pokemon I could bring. I could just bring Reggie. Bring Reggie Gigas over Bibril. Um, and just level up Reggie Gigas. And whatever he has, just kind of work. This Pokemon's broken. What do you got? Ice Punch, Knockoff, Foresight, Payback. Let's give you... None of those moves. Let's find you some TMs you can learn, buddy. Um, Bulldoze? If I put you in with a Flying type, could be good. Drain Punch over Foresight. And then Protect, because Protect is good in double battles. Over Ice Punch. Okay. I think this battle is going to be, honestly, easier than I'm like, comfortable with. I feel like it's going to throw me off, because I feel like this battle is going to be very easy. Let's see if I lose. Good morning, Billy. How you doing? Uh, there's a low grind mode. Didn't really be an option. Yeah, minimal grinding mode when you first start the game. Very, very ideal to use, in my opinion. Uh, the only thing I didn't calc here is the potential of Noivern and Nidoking like doubling into one of these guys instead of setting up the Tailwind. This is what he's actually doing, too. Oof! This might be a problem. I think off oh, that arrow blast only did that much. I don't think Nidoking's King's going to be able to do that much damage with something else. Honestly, I don't think a uh, earth power or sludge, wa sludge wave would do less. It'd be ideal. Sludge wave is what I would like to see right here. Oof, this might kill. I didn't calc this at all. We tank. We tank. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, and now Dual Wing Beat on you and Icy Wind gets a double kill right here. You're both gone. Cool. And now I need to U-turn. Anything Focus Sash? No. Not Focus Sash. I'm going to... This is a tough one. This is a tough one because I'm timid on you. There's no way a Scald. Could a Scald kill Excadrill? I'm pretty high over leveled on it. Excadrill, level 71. Why aren't you taking from Scald? Scald does not kill you. Sadly. Scald burn would be nice, but... Uh, there's no way I can I can do that. Um, I'm faster than anything here. Because the Tailwind is up. So I could just U-turn. I'll U-turn on you. And I'll protect with you. Because you should be Giga Draining into that slot, if I had to guess. Um, now, my answers. I put Rock on you, right? 
Rock slide, yes. Let's send you out. You should be going for Rock slide, Giga Drain. Bug Buzz, okay. Not Giga Drain, interesting. Interesting. Iron Head on that slot, that's probably the best move you could have done, which is kind of unfortunate, to be honest. Um. Another Leftovers turn. I think... Excadrill is honestly a bigger threat right now. Uh, Flygon. 76. Rock Slide. To Volcarona, level 71. Not doing enough damage. It's not doing enough damage. It's 82 to 98. Not adamant. 82 to 98, which I don't think that's going to be enough to kill the Volcarona. Do I think that Iron Head's the strongest thing you could probably go for on me. That plus like a Giga Drain or a Bug Buzz on that slot could kill me. Mm, definitely no Rock move coming out here. I'm going to switch it back into you. And on this slot, I'm going to go into... It's easy. All right. And I, every time I talk up a battle, double battles are the trickiest battles because you just never know what kind of combinations of Pokemon they're going to send out. Also the Bug Buzz. Doubled into the Blastoise on that, that turn. That was wild. That was a wild play. Dude, they didn't even do the right play the time before. Moltres is still faster than Excadrill. So I'm going to U-turn and no ice moves here. So I could kind of really. Do I want to set up rocks? Free rocks? Let me U-turn on you. You go for the fire blast. I'm dead. Awesome. Ugh, I was like, is he going to know that I have Fluffy and go for it? He does. AI. I don't know if the AI... If I triggered the, uh, I don't think I would have already. Um, you can trigger like a, like an anti cheat type thing. I don't think I would have already. It's like, there's no possible way, but those plays don't make sense. They really don't make sense. The fact that there's a Moltres on the left and a Blastoise on the right, and you bug buzz the Blastoise and iron head the Moltres is really that makes no sense. When you have Rock Slide and you click Iron Head, it doesn't make any sense. But it's what it is. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to Rock Slide here and Protect. I mean, they've, I guess, attacked into that slot multiple times, which is interesting as well. But Volcron is gone. We get the flinch on Excadrill. Nice. Interesting plays, though, to say the least. Um, I almost think I have Rock Slide Icy Wind here. If I get some flinches, we'll be in good shape. If I could slow them down for any other Pokemon. Oh, we're already faster. Wow, if I had known that. Damn. I did not think Blastoise was going to be faster than the Braviary. That was kind of a threat. I don't think I, would, I wouldn't have killed X Control anyway, I don't think. But high horsepower. This last move failed, so it's going to kill me. Damn. And he gets a speed boost on that. So now we're neutral on that. Uh, we go Trash Panda. We Rock Slide. Drain punch, and that should be a guaranteed double kill. Wow, man, that was that was interesting. Oh, that AI was really strange. I don't know how you can predict double battles with the AI, man. Um, really throws me off. Okay, you and you. 
That turn just that turn bugs me. Made no sense. Um Okay. Last up is the boy, which I have not prepped at all for. Blaine. All right, the ideal thing here is setting up Stealth Rocks immediately. Um, or Weathermons, what do I have? Sticky, is Sticky Web's worth? Um, not really. I mean, if I get rid of the Sun, that's better than anything. So his lead is Armor Oak, who has Armor Cannon, Side Shock, or Spear Energy Ball. I could freely set up a Sticky Web if I wanted to. I'm running out of weather mons here. This could be a good time for this to show up. Uh, although they have grass coverage on everything. So it's kind of not that great. Um, Drizzle on you is kind of crazy. Because... I forgot you had Drizzle. Sand Spit could be kind of nice. Um, sand Stream on you. Not a terrible on this. I think Drizzle's ideal. So you're the lead. Lead with you. He has Psy Shock right off the bat. I don't know how fast Armor Rogue is. I don't think he's very fast. 75 speed. You are level 75. That's even definitely faster than that. Only 80. Okay. So a little more confidently than I should have. Uh, Timid nature. I do have to run plus speed. So we're going to run jolly on you. <laughs> Excuse me. I go for a U-turn, break the sash. Um, and then I go... Shuckle. I can set up Stealth Rocks, which are definitely better than Sticky Webs. But regard, nonetheless, very good. Let me get a TM case for the Stealth Rocks at. Somewhere up here, right? There we go. Over. Bulldoze. Right. Okay. So that's the lead. U turn. Stealth rocks. Stealth rocks do 50% to the Charizard immediately. So it's so nice to get rid of that. Um, What do we got in here? Gluttony. Blaze. Snow warning. Another weather Pokemon. And Unburden. Don't think any of those guys are going to be useful right now. Um, Water Dragon. Pretty good for this. Regular dragon, actually. Really good for this. What up, Marvel? What up, Bolin? We are doing YouTube right now for Radical Red. I am not paying attention to how long this episode is at all, but I'm going to finish this battle and go from there regardless. So, you're here just for rain. Is there another use I can get out of you? Um, Not really. You're decently bulky, but not like gonna take no real hits from anything. So you're pretty much here to just you turn out. So I'm just gonna make you speedy. Um, I need to put a rock move on you. I think to be good. The Charizard, we already know we can beat the Charizard with Moltres, with Ancient Power. So that's my answer for that. Um, Slitherwing, first impression, close, uh, close combat, Flare Blitz. Annihilate, really good for that. How fast is Slitherwing? Slitherwing, level 76. You are base 81 speed. You are jolly. Annihilate is base 90. So I do have to run plus speed to outspeed you. Run jolly, that's fine. How much is 
Flare Blitz doing to me outside of Sun? Doing less than half, but Flare Blitz can burn. Which is a little problematic. It is a little problematic. Um, Typhlosion? I think I've run Lapras for Typhlosion. Four times fire resist for that eruption. And it blocks priority moves. So it wouldn't even work. Eruption won't even work. It can only HP grass or focus blast. Which I'll tank. Alright. Typhlosion answer. Slitherwing answer. Um, I could run Aerial Ace on this. I think Aerial Ace. I believe he gets Aerial Ace, right? Do you? He gets a TM. I feel like a flying move, I'm almost positive. Is it higher up? Must have been. I'm talking. It does not get air released. Did you get a flying move. You do not. Why did I think you did? Uh, if I get the plus one attack and defense, if I bulk up, Flare Blitz is really not doing a lot to me. Rage Fist. If I get hit once, goes to base 100. Still two shot him. Um, after rocks and uh, light orb damage, I think I'll be good. If I get burned, that'd be a huge problem. Hmm. Man, I really thought he learned that. Is there any cool moves from the move tutor? Perfect again. Uh, do I have mega stones? Or Megalotti? Uh no. But I haven't checked to see if I could get it. I think I can. I think I can. Oh, flying move would be nice, man. Annihilate Burn. I don't learn any flying coverage. I think it's gotta be something. Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Right, where is Acro? There we go. Is there an easier way to find moves that you can learn? Come on. Where art thou? I literally just looked at the TM at acrobatics. I could probably could have found the TM number for it. Did I not grab acrobatics? Am I bugging? I didn't grab it. That's why I didn't see it. Wow. All right, acrobatics, that's the answer. Easy answer. There it is. Black well, run acrobatics on you too. Instead of Drain Punch. On an off chance, I need you for Slither Wing instead. Uh, let's get rid of Drain Punch on you for... I'm not going to be bulking up. Acrobatics should be good. Acrobatics with leftovers still kills. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. So I'm going to do that. I forgot to do that like a while ago. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Gosh. Bathroom breaks are loud. Okay. Let me level up vanilla. So my plan is U-turn, Stealth Rocks. Um, you should 100% stay in. Let me make sure I make you too bad. Jolly. 
Um, also, you, I need to make jolly. You are strictly here for Typhlosion. So we're going to make you plus special defense, minus attack. Um, what could I do with you? Ice Shard, not really necessary. I guess it worked for the Executor or something, but... Don't need Draco Hammer. What are the moves you got? Mm, do you get Flip Turn? Did I just pass Flip Turn? I feel like I just saw it. Oh, Dragon Tail, actually. No? That could be nice. Skull's kind of just a good move, right? Over Brine. Uh, remind me to... You know, else? <laughs> How's it got the job? Hey, I like it. I didn't know you... I thought you say something about it, uh... Interview, but that's awesome, man. Congratulations. Let's see. Honestly, this thing... Absolutely destroys Slitherwing. I don't know why I don't... I just bring... That this destroys Slitherwing 100% of the time. Um, it really destroys Armor Rogue 100% of the time too. Okay, Rudy's really good. Trash Panda, do I bring you in for acrobatics on something else then? Good. <laughs> bring you in acrobatics, just run no item and just attack Executor Skull Villain with it. Um, yeah. What am I doing? I'm blind. Take your item. You're just gonna come in here and you're gonna acro something. That's it. That's it. Um, Alrighty. Dueling beat on this is so good. Saluing so Executor, Skull Villain, probably all die to it. You destroy Typhlosion. And you kind of destroy... He has Dragon Pulse. It's kind of a problem. So you're mainly here for the Charizard. So I gotta make sure you stay healthy for that. Leftovers, Dueling beat, U-turn. Tailwind, Roost. I probably don't need the Roost. Uh, the Tailwind. Um, give the ancient power over the tailwind. All right, I think we're actually really good. As soon as I realized that, I'm like, we got stealth rocks and sticky webs on this guy. Acrobax bulk up protect. He's literally just here to U-turn out. That's all you're here for. Uh, you beat Slitherwing. Uh, you are here for nothing really. You can dragon dance up potentially. Um. Yeah, I'm, I just got so much more confident in this whole battle when I realized how insanely good. Um, I didn't level up. Oof. I almost didn't level up my Shuckle. Moltres is insanely good. All right, this should be an easy battle. I think Blaine is honestly easier than a lot of the uh, actual trainers prior to this. Like, the double battle before this is probably harder than this actual battle. Explosion would be a good move. Probably once I have the team. Yeah, 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 that's actually a good point. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Sun is gone, and this team is no longer a problem. Um, we just U-turn. We're faster. I did want to be faster. That was intentional. I'm smart. He's gonna go for a side shock here. Um, I'm going to day in the man. This is all intentional. Back to the plan. I have no idea how much this does. Should have calculated that, but it's okay. It's okay. It's a, it's a shuckle. This thing doesn't take damage from anything. This thing's a beast. Um, I definitely want stealth rocks more than I want anything else. Armor cannon in the rain. What does armor cannon do? Doesn't it drop stats? This is good damage though. Uh, defense and spit death fell. Stealth Rocks. Um, I could Struggle Bug. Or Sticky Web. I'm just gonna Sticky Web. He's going for Armor Cannon in the rain. 73 to 30. 
honestly, I think I go into Moltres here. And I just dual wing beat. I do that and something dies. This is gonna do no damage. No damage at all. In the ring. Oh, you went for the side shock on that turn? Of course you did. Of course you did. It's okay. It's okay, you cheat. It's fine. We know. We know. We know. I should have went for the ancient power there, honestly. But I don't know if Shorefoot would kill. Uh, rain is gone. But it's okay. What are you going to? I want a Typhlosion. I mean, I guess. I'm definitely not taking any extra damage. An eruption from a modest... Typhlosion is still crazy, but it doesn't work. You have to click HP Grass here or Focus Blast. I click Scald. He swaps out. Executor? Okay. Right. It's kind of sticky web. Scald. Um, this is an interesting turn here. I'm going to go Honcho. If he goes to the side shot, good play. I think I'm plus... No, I'm neutral defense. Do I think I live? Those are growth. Amazing. Amazing. Because I have U-turn. Yep, U-turn would have killed you, buddy. It's a Typhlosion. Perfect. Pop. Break that freaking eruption damage from being too, too broken. Um, and then honestly, I kind of want to go Rudy in Ancient Power or Flame. Did I put a Flame Charge on this? I don't think I did. Um, could Dragon Dance with this guy, honestly, and probably just win. I think I could just Dragon Dance and win right now. I didn't bring this guy for anything in particular. He can't be crit. I was gonna say focus blast is very inaccurate, but of course he of course he lands. Or plus one, what 261 down to 160. So we eat that up pretty well. I think at plus two I win. Like guaranteed. I'm not even gonna calc anything. Ah, uh, first impression slithering. That was stupid. Alright. Well, Earthquake, get rid of you. Slithering. Yeah, first impression. I'm not risking that. Nope, not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not doing that. <sighs> yep. Not falling for that, buddy. Um, and now we just click acrobatics, and I think everything dies. Executor dies, Slithering dies, Skull Villain dies. Charizard's the only thing that doesn't, but Charizard, we have hopefully an answer. He was Executor. Interesting decision. Um, interesting decision. I almost want to go directly into Moltres. Nah, there's really no point. What are you doing, buddy? I really don't think you died in, in acrobatics from a from an Annihilate? There's Charizard. Okay. I almost just want to stay in. I could go vanilla on this, honestly. What's he going to air slash? I made you plus spit F, right? I'm going to vanilla, see how much air slash does. Dragon Pulse won't do too much more than an air slash. Oh, he has Drought. Forgot about that. But guess how we work around that. Air Slash. 307. To 206. Um, hmm. 
I'm going to risk Honcho here because I kind of just don't care. He could go for Solar Beam here too, but I think he'd go Dragon Pulse. He should just go straight Dragon Pulse. So I get rid of his Drought. Dragon Pulse, yep. How much does this do? No Solar Power. I mean, not only Solar Power is on the regular one. You remember all these things. Okay. Now it's Air Slash. Guaranteed Air Slash right here. I'm hoping Rudy can take two Air Slashes. I sure hope he can. 180. Hey, that's not a crit? Oh boy. Well then. Because Charizard is certainly faster than Moltres. Charizard Y, 100 speed. I think Moltres was 90. Yeah, you're faster than me. That's for sure. Um, Wow, this is why you should probably kelp things prior to starting. Huh. Um, the play, the legitimate play right now is to sack a Pokemon and get vanilla in and just water move. Um, it's just the whole idea of what Pokemon. So you're minus, oh, you're 157 spin death. You are 378. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Um, wish you had more HP. You're 189, 150, 142. So, Air Slash, level 76, to Lapras, level 76, compared to Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse is 47 to 56%. And plus special defense. Um, it can do, oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I could ever protect on you. I wish I did, man. This is going to be very close. So if he air slashes, it can do a max of, I'm going, I'm doing it. I'm risking it. I'm keeping everything alive. I'm keeping everything alive. I'm keeping everything alive. He went for the Dragon Pulse on the Switch. <sighs> GG's. Not GG's. Well, buy Lapras. Buy Vanilla. Do cheats. Game cheats. 100% cheats. Game cheats. Game cheats. Game cheats. I don't think I would have lived an air slash into a dragon pulse anyway. If I had protect, that Lapras could have easily survived that. But oh well, we had a few deaths this episode. Uh kind of a long episode, I think. After I edit it, we'll see where we're at. Um But it's all good. It's all good. That's the first time I used Lapras this entire game. <laughs> I definitely could have prepped a little bit better, but we're kind of getting down to the nitty-gritty here, and we are in shambles, and it's fine. I will see you guys in the next one. We'll see how many episodes are left of this playthrough because I've kind of fallen apart. But this is the furthest playthrough I've ever done on YouTube. For Radical Red. Um, it's one of the farthest Nuzlocks I've done in the game in general. So I'm still happy with it. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those things on YouTube.